people came up to me and said, you know, when I was a little fella, we used to run home from school in order to be able to see McHale's Navy. And I had mothers write to me and say, you know, I know exactly where my boy is when McHale's Navy is on, because they were watching McHale's Navy. You would be breaking regulations and defying Captain Binghamton's authority. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! I came out in 1945 after World War II. In those days when, I, when depression was on, it was a good thing to get into the service because, hey, you got three regulars a day, you know, and, uh, and you had to work a little bit for it, but it was uh, good and um, the training was great. And um, I used to send some money home on, to boot, so it wasn't too bad. So after 10 years, I came home and out of a clear blue sky, my mother said, have you ever thought of becoming an actor? She says, you always like to make a damn fool of yourself in front of people. Why don't you give it a try? And I looked up and I saw that golden light come down and I said, Mom, that's what I'm going to be. And 10 years later, I had an Academy Award and I couldn't figure out <laughs> how I did it. And then one day, after coming back from Italy, having made some pictures over there, my agent called and said, listen, we got a thing here that they call McHale's Navy. And it's fashioned after a picture that, that uh, was made out in the Sahara Desert, supposedly, with a lieutenant commander takes a whole bunch of sailors out to the Sahara Desert to send back weather reports to, to the Navy. And they get all embroiled with Arabs and everything else. And uh, it, I said, well, it sounds good. But I said, you know, uh, somebody here has come up with an idea of putting you all into a a little place over there of your own Taratupa, on a little island. And I said, well, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a motion picture actor now, you know. Uh, I, I don't want to do television very much anymore. Well, he laughed and he said, okay. He said, but if you change your mind, let me know because we'd like to get this thing on the road. Uh, a young man came to my door the following morning and he's selling chocolate bars for some uh, school out there in the valley. He said, gee, mister, he says, you, you look awfully familiar. I said, really? He said, well, what's your name? I said, my name is uh, really, um, my name is James Arness. Oh, no, 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 he does gun smoke. I said, no, my name is really Richard Boone. Said, no, he does have gun, will travel. I said, boy, this kid's pretty smart. But I'll tell him my name and now he'll know and all. All he's got to do is look in and there's the Oscar the whole bit. I tell him, my name is actually Ernest Borgnein. Zilch, nothing. Hmm. I said, well, thank you very much, son. Here's your money. Okay, bye-bye. I put down the chocolate bars and went to the telephone, called my agent. I said, that part's still open? He said, yes. And he said, uh, I said, okay, I'll do it. He said, what changed your mind? I said, none of your damn business. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got into McHale's Navy. All right, let's break it up, you playboys. Come on, we're home. I did everything in McHale's Navy that I couldn't do in the regular Navy. The very first time you ever see me, I'm surfboarding behind my boat. <laughs> and... And that's something that is a no-no, you know, in the service. <laughs> and there was a time when in the Navy, uh, we had a, a, a Navy lieutenant who used to come in. And at the very first day, he said, uh, uh, Ernie, he said, uh, what are we shooting here? I said, McHale's Navy. He said, but I thought we were shooting the United States. He said, no, 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 this is McHale's Navy, not the U.S. Navy, McHale's Navy. Oh, he says, well, don't call us, we'll call you. Well, one day I get a call a couple of years later to go to Washington and to the Pentagon where I had lunch with the Secretary of the Navy. And he says, you're the best recruiter we've ever had. He says, everybody who comes in the Navy wants to join McHale's Navy. <laughs> and it's true. 
You know? Chairs are in the starting gate. The flag is up. Oh, oh, oh. hi, Skip. <laughs> All right, hold it. <laughs> ah, so this is sick call, huh? We were only trying to amuse the shut-ins. Hey, Skip, it's old lead bottom under a full head of steam. Quick, quick, come on. Get in those chairs. Get, get off your feet. I, I've never had anyone like Joe Flynn who played Captain Binghamton. He was a corker, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> we, we tried to, you know, oh, really steady up when he was around, you know? <laughs> but behind his back, we pulled every, every trick in the book. Why is it me? Why is it always me? <laughs> I love comedy. I love to I love the comedy end of it and and I, to, to me to keep a straight face sometimes when we were working was just so hard because believe me we were really put it right, you know get get right in there you know and and uh, it was just marvelous and uh, we had a ball we had a wonderful time <laughs> We did everything. We had, we had people coming down on the trams, you know, and we'd pop up out of the bushes with spears and everything else, and oh my God, Mikhail's baby, oh! And one woman fell out of the tram one day. <laughs> so they said, no more, no more jumping out of the woods. <laughs> so it was really something. But um, again, I say, I love comedy, and I love playing with people that know how to play comedy. So long now. Well, Carpy, just the man I was looking for. I'm sorry, Commander McHale. Whatever it is, the answer is no. Oh, <laughs> Carpy. Oh, boy, you got us all wrong, Carpy. Oh, sir, we've broken our last regulation. Yes, sirree. <laughs> From now on, there'll be no more gambling or, or drinking hard liquor. As a matter of fact, we've even switched to sipping tea. Am I right, Chuck? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, we love it. In fact, I've been drinking so much lately, when I walk, I slosh. <laughs> you want to hear? <laughs> On the whole, I must say that um, uh, we had fun. And that's, it shows, I think, uh, in, in McHale's Navy. Uh -huh.